magnificent, beautiful course with the Southern Alps in the background. Keep losing your head like that, you'll never make a cent out here on tour, right? This is not normal. This thing. It's not? No. It's never happened to you when you're in the driving range? No, no. Desoma. My media nemesis, David Desoma. He wanted my hands free microphone system and golf swing correctional facility. He wanted it bad, real bad. How do you find this whole lifestyle, you know, the golf lifestyle, touring and stuff? I mean, what's it like? Uh, it's not as glamorous as it, as it seems. There's a lot of traveling, uh, a lot of hotels. Shot Abdul. Nice, Abdul. 591 yards into the wind, right up my alley. Sorry, right? Right up my alley. Just behind me, on the 18th, is the golf club or the golf house. It's where the players get a chance, if you like, to, to mingle with the media like myself, to, to tell their stories in their words, or just get a cup of coffee or something to eat. Wow. I'll take that. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, test. <laughs> testing, testing. But I noticed Greg Turner was having a steak sandwich before, and wow. I was here before him. I was. No, but that's Greg Turner. I did that purely to demonstrate exactly what happens when you get it wrong on this back nine. It's wet. You go in the water, and that's no good to you. Over to you, Philip. Whack some effects on that, would you? We'll try a different one, can you? No, we've done that. Could I order one and put it on Philip Leishman's tab then, and perhaps put it under his name, under his, his room or something? But but you're not Philip Leishman. Oh, no, no, but I'm saying I could put it on his tab and then we could probably sort it out at the other end. You know, I'll get the GST at my end and probably get his... I don't even know who you are. But Philip Leishman could get a steak sandwich. OK. So, uh, sorry, Greg. Uh, Philip, I think your steak sandwich is ready. Is it sorry? a steak sandwich? Oh. Oh, OK. Oh, is it, oh. Is it, so I think it's a steak sandwich. Go. So he's, he's been waiting for a while. Greg, they call you the, the Siberian saber-toothed tiger of golf. Who do you need to watch out for on, on, in the tournament coming up? Yeah, a lot of young Americans. We sort of heard of Bryce Mulder, but a lot of them we haven't heard of, and I'm sure that'll be good players. So you've got to be watching it from all flanks. Is that too far? It actually corrects my swing. Slow, uh, slows my back, back swing a little bit. And also, it's an ab workout, an all-day ab workout, which is uh, Very cunning. Which is you, fun. you got a patent on that? Not yet. Uh, I'm hoping you're going <laughs> to... How's it going? Uh, very good. Don, how are you? I'm interested in, in hiring a golf buggy for a little while. Uh -huh. And how long would you like it? Well, actually, I was keen to relocate it to Blenheim. Bob Charles, the, the ring-tailed dancing lemur of golf, he designed the course. Any inside knowledge from him? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's quite long off the back, so obviously in his, in his old age he's getting longer, perhaps. Um, but, yeah, I guess we could give him the... He'd be the nearest you'd get to home course advantage, but... Might just interrupt you there, so we're going to put some special effects on this back at editing. Can we do that now? Probably going to be a strobe effect. Oh, We've yeah. got a new effect system. Oh, we're really going to try and make the most of it. Try the, the, the negative sepia. And the first one we did, the sort of the, the swipey thing. No, not that one. The first one, yeah. Yeah, that's the best one. <laughs> it's the effect, special effects. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just a member of golf, a golf club in Blenheim. I wouldn't mind relocating one back there, but if you... Yeah, I think we have one of those. No, not that one. The first one, yeah. 